Hello friends, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you how to actually launch a PWA to Firebase. So we are going to upload our Angular project to Firebase and for doing it quickly, I am going to take the reference of my previous video. So we are going to launch that up in PWA and we will access it as a website. So let's get started with today's video. But before starting, I would like to tell you that if you haven't checked my courses yet, do check it out. Links are there in the description and limited offer period is going on. So get that as soon as possible. Let's quickly jump into our video now. So now as you can see here, the Firebase project is already created for this project and this is our code which we have already tested for Android and iOS. It's time to test for the PWA one too. So everything is good to go. Now, what am I going to do in order to access it uh, into our project? Well, we have already integrated the Firebase, but still I'm going to do something here. And before doing anything, I would like to tell you that if you haven't uh, like followed my videos, you can check that out. There are two videos which I have launched for this and links are in the description. I'll make it a playlist so that you can understand it pretty easily how to work with this. But I would like to tell you one thing that in Firestore which I have used here and in fact the storage one also, I've set the permissions uh, in the rules one. Okay, if you are not using that, you can simply skip that up. So now here how to like integrate that. First of all, you need to use npm install or i dash g firebase tools which we have already done but still i'll do it again because we need to like go for the pw and for that i need a web app to be uh, present out here so i need the firebase hosting too that is why i'm doing this once again let's go for it and try this up now so i'll install everything from the beginning once that is done i'll go for firebase login okay i'll hit yes I'll just accept the login. If it is not done in your case, definitely you can do that up. So these are the few steps because you can create a Firebase project pretty easily. That's not a big problem. You can go for it. And once that is done, these are the steps you need to follow. If you haven't uh, checked the previous videos also, still you can do this. That is why I'm showing you again all this stuff. So now Firebase login is done. Uh, then you can simply go for Firebase init. And you need to select which all things you need to use. So Firestore, I'm using it here. Then Firebase functions, so I don't need. Hosting I need, yes. Then hosting, you need to set up the GitHub if you want to, but I don't want to do that up right now. So I'll just skip that storage when I'm using it up. Then emulators, nothing else I think I need. So I'll simply, I've selected the ones which I need and I'll hit enter. All right, it is setting up everything. Now Firestore rules, this is the name. I want to keep it the same, I'll hit enter. And I'll say yes, okay, you can like replace it for the rules one and I'll hit enter again, replace it because I already had that files. That is why it is replacing. In your case, it won't replace. Now, this is very important. What do you want to use as your public directory? Now, what happens is when you're building an Ionic application, it creates a www folder, okay? Now we need to pass out here the www folder, then only it's going to work. So I'll simply pass www and hit enter. All right, configure as a single page app, rewrite all rules to index.html. I'll say, okay, yes, let's go for it. Set up automatic builds and deploy with GitHub. Okay, I'll just say no, because I don't want to set up that part. Otherwise you have to work with the GitHub and I have to create an account for the GitHub, which I'm not going to go right now. Okay, override this. Yes, let's override that up. Now I'll hit enter again and replace it. Okay, everything is good to go. You, I'm getting an option to upgrade it, but I won't go for that because I already ran the same command actually. But anyways, not a problem. So now you s just see, we have few files like files to rules, if request, not null. Okay, that should not be the case. Uh, I think I've given something else earlier. Anyways, let me check the files to one, if true. Okay, that's fine. But the storage one, it is changed. It is looking for the authentication. I don't think I've given anything for the authentication part. So let me just check it here. Storage one. Well, if you're just looking for PW, you don't need to look into all this stuff, but still it's better if you understand these things. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm into the testing one right now. So I'll just mention here if true. Okay. I think it's fine. Published it. All right. This is published now. That's great. And I will have the same thing here. So let me simply copy this up. 
and I'm going to paste it out here in this particular manner. That's it. So stories, rules and everything is done. Everything is set up. Now Firebase web app and everything is also ready. Now I simply need to run ng add 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 angular slash fire. Well, I already have this package, but I'm going to go for it again because I need the uh, Firebase web app also. And for using the ng command, you need to install the angular CLI if you haven't done that. So let me hit enter and now it will access everything. Okay, I need the ng deploy, that is why I'm doing it again. Then I need the fire store, then what else I need? I need this cloud storage one, that's it. That's the only thing I need, I'll hit enter and we're good to go, I think. Yes, I'll select my account, list of projects. This is the project which I need, I'll select it up. And now select a hosting website. So this is the default hosting website that is coming up. I'll select the same one only. And please provide a unique URL friendly ID for the website. Something like ID, okay, fine. I'll keep the same one actually. Uh, if I hit enter, I think it will take the same one maybe. Okay, site ID argument must be provided in a non-interactive environment. Okay, I need to give that ID. And that is why I need to run this again now. This is the thing which you need to remember what else, what needs to be done, what needs not to be done. Select it again. Select it again and now I'll just select this one again. This time something different came up I think. Okay, this is the app which I want to select and everything is good to go now. Okay, once everything is done, let me show you a few things for the PWA. So PWA Ionic, let's go for it. This is the one. All right, so this is the thing that is coming up. At first you need to add this particular one at angular slash pwa so let's go for it i'll hit enter and it's going to install it up okay it will proceed with this particular one let's go with this uh, meanwhile let's see what is the next step and i'll close all these files i don't need this now in the deploy one well we need to install this for firebase it is showing now we have already done this those steps we don't need to do anything else uh, everything is ready to go all right, so now Angular PWA is installed properly. Let's go for the next step, which is I think to run directly Ionic build as prod, which will build our www folder. Let's go for that. So I'll run this command here and let's see what happens. Okay, we need to wait for it to complete. Something is happening here. Let's see for the www folder. Meanwhile, let me just show you my package.json file for the time being. This is the one. Okay. Meanwhile, this is also done. So let's go for it. So now I simply need to run one command and everything will be done. That is Firebase deploy. Let's go for it. I'll deploy everything. So all the rules will be deployed out here. I have everything. What's wrong? This is our web app, right? Let's go into the settings of it. What about link to a Firebase hosting website? I'll just click on it and let me just select this particular one. I'll link it up. Okay, now it is linked. So I think we are good to go. I'll go for Firebase deploy again. Again, I'm getting the same error. Well, if this error is occurring, let me go for Firebase init again. Let's see what's wrong. So something happens. So if something wrong is going on, definitely you need to go for Firebase init again to solve this kind of an error. So I'll just select everything from the beginning. Let's see whether it gets resolved or not. All right, I'll just select this up. Yes, www. Let's go for no this time or what was shown here. Let's check it out. What should I go for? Okay. Configure as a single page application. Enter yes. File level already exists. Override no. Okay. So I need to go for yes here. No. GitHub one I don't need. Override. I'll say no. Don't override anything. Okay. Now override yes. Okay. Let's go for this deploy command again. Let's see this time what happens. Okay, I think this time it is working maybe. Okay, now this is deployed to this particular one, but in the storage dot rules, it is set to false, which I need to turn it to true. Okay, and let me just check it in out here also. What is it in the storage one? Otherwise I'll face some problem with the uh, functionality of it. So I need to be careful when I'm using this up. Alright, it is set to false. Let me set it to true here only. 
you can do it via firebase deploy again also but i don't want to go for deploying it again so now this is our okay this is the hosting url which i need to open up so let me just copy this and i will go to the browser paste it and let's see what happens this time what do we see it is showing ionic app and our app is running so this was our earlier app which we built let's check it out whether the functionality is working or not so this is the mobile application kind of a, kind of a screen that i've got again in the browser one this is our url just check the url okay we are running it uh, live uh, into our pwa that means the website one for the firebase one now let's try taking a picture i'll go for take a picture from photos and let me take any picture okay these are some of the sample images which i already had and it is uploaded successfully that's great let's take a screenshot also and it is uploading the image is uploaded successfully okay so that's working exactly as we expected everything is working as expected and if you want to check the latest one definitely you can go to the fire so well this is not related to like uh, hosting a angular pwa but this part okay because this was our earlier application so we can check whether the functionality is working as expected or not let's go for the storage one also and see what is exactly coming up here is the file is uploaded or not at first let's check it out here so this is the test one okay this is the latest image i think i have let's just check it out here all right this is uploaded and i have two images which are uploaded just now on 19th march that is coming up nicely now what i need to do if i just click this it will open up and i'll get the url in the console log only i'll check it up why to check it everywhere else because this url is coming up and i'll simply open this up in new tab so you can see this is the screenshot one that is coming up and the other one let's just scroll to the top this is the one this is the one or not let me open up in new tab and this is the one that is coming up that's great so both the images are showing up nicely and if you want to search for it definitely you can just copy this particular one and go to your uh, test one first of all i'll just select enter a field image url and condition equal to string i'll just paste the string and apply it up so this is the one that is coming up and you can see so this is working pretty nicely and similarly you can just check for the other one also i'll just copy it and we'll go here just to check i'll paste it hit enter this is the image that is coming up so this is how it is working so this is how you can upload your ionic project to firebase as a pwa one all right and this is an angular application also because ionic with angular so angular application also can, you can do it in a similar manner so with this i'll wrap up this lecture here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time